YouTube, great to you here. I've got two new knife reviews coming up. Um, the first is on the Spyderco Delica 4 with partially serrated edge. And the second is on the Benchmade 551 Griptilian with S30V. This is a custom job I ordered. Uh, one green handle, one tan. Sorry I've been gone for a while. Uh, I've just been finishing up school trying to find a job but I decided it's about time I'm making a new video so here we go I'll start off with the Spyderco Delica 4 I got this for $50 in Cal uh, in Florida um, it was on sale but I think you can get it online for a similar price let me see if I can make it focus a little better there we go it's VG10 steel overall length of uh, 7.125 inches Closed length of uh, right around 4.25 inches, blade length 2.875 inches, and a weight of 2.5 ounces. I've been using this knife for a few weeks now. Uh, I used it while I was in Florida, um, and just it cuts beautifully. I'll do a paper cutting test on it after this part, but it holds up well. Uh, there's been no rust on it. I've had it for a few months, but I've just been really using it heavily in the past few weeks. Uh, it's a great knife, though. No problems opening or closing. I've kept it oiled, but hasn't needed it. I think it would have been fine without it. It does stay in my pocket, so collect some dust. You might be able to see some on there, but nothing too bad. Really, the edge has stayed. I haven't sharpened this knife. I haven't sharpened either of these knives since I bought them. Um, just been using it for light work, opening packages, stuff like that. It's been a great knife. I'm really happy with it. The second knife I'm really excited to show you, it's the Benchmade Griptilian that I ordered. I said that there would be a surprise later. This was it. Um, if I just change it to focus in a little better. You can see I wrote True Grits on one side, which is the name of my uh, my sailboat, and Grits Gear on the other for this channel. Uh, I got the S30V Steel, the uh, anodized coating so it doesn't rust at all. Not that I'm worried about S30V rusting, but just in case. Um, hasn't dulled out much at all. overall length of just about 8 inches so it's slightly bigger than the Delica 4 and the closed length of 4.62 inches so once again a little bit bigger I'd say it's not a problem though I got the dual colors I guess both kind of a camo scheme going on it's made out of uh, GTX it's got the axis lock I forgot to mention the Delica 4 just has the um, the spine lock and I've been using this knife since I got it back in January uh, it's it's been great um, I'll do some cutting tests on this one as well one of the sharper knives I own out, right out of the box super super sharp it has um modified drop point blade you have a choice between a Tonto modified drop point or a sheep's foot and I went with the modified drop drop point because I figured the Tonto is a little impractical since I'd be using this for everyday cutting and the sheep's foot's alright but I prefer this for some uh, point or uh, point and drag cutting the price on this one's $145 though since it's the custom grip tilling with the S30V. I'm not quite sure about the weight though because all the stats online just read the weight of it with um, the original steel not the S30V. Um, but for $145 I say it's a pretty good deal especially if you want something that you can keep for a while and the grip tilling is a great knife. It's really one of everyone's, uh, it's up there on everyone's charts. The next one, I mean the Spyderco Delica 4 is only $50. So it's really not a fair comparison. However, I do love this knife. There's just the feel in your hand. I'd say, I'd say if anything, it's uh, better than the Griptilian. 
very comfortable in your hands. Um, the steel is not quite as high of a quality. It is a little bit smaller, but it does have the adjustable, reversible uh, pocket clip, as well as the uh, grip ceiling has that as well. All right, thanks YouTube. Uh, I'll be back coming out with more videos soon, um, and the cutting test right after this. All right, I'm now going to be doing the paper cutting test. So first, we're going to start off with the Spider Code Delica Four. Just a piece of white lined paper from a notebook. It's going to be hard to do this since I'm kind of around like my uh, camera. First, the serrated edge. You can see the serrated edge is extremely sharp. Now, for this plain blade. It's not quite as sharp, I've been using it a bit, but... Looks like there might be might be a little bit dull. I haven't sharpened it since I got it and it's been cutting a lot of cardboard boxes. Uh, so the plain blade is not quite as sharp, but um, I can vouch for the fact that it was slightly sharper. Still not ridiculously sharp, but it's no, no hard feet cutting a straight line with this, even around curves. Um, it's pretty sharp. Next up, I'll show you the Benchmade. Alright, I'm going to cut right around the middle. It's just no problem. Well, it's going to make a liar out of me. It's just the sharpest blade. The S30V modified drop point. Extremely sharp. I'll show you how you can, uh, point and pull. It's very sharp. But a lot sharper than the Spider Co. Um, I'll have to let you know how they hold up in the long term since I've only had them both for about a few months. But so far I'm very happy. If you had the money, I'd say spring for the Benchmade. The Spider Co. is not far behind and it has a much lighter price tag. So keep that in mind too. Both of these are um, pretty classic knives for the Delica and the, um, the Benchmade. Both of them you see in almost everyone who's an avid knife collector's collection. So check them out. I'm sure you have already seen them but if not, <laughs> take another look. Alright, take care YouTube.